hey guys welcome to tech Goku. so in this video i'm gonna show you how to create a custom lower third like this so without any further delay let's get into it so for this i'm gonna use this image as a background and uh, for this uh, particular tutorial i'm gonna use a text layer we can do it in different ways but uh, to do it simply i'm gonna create a text layer so for that you have to press ctrl plus g in pc command plus g in mac so that will create a text layer now select this text and i'm going to name it as lower thirds so this is going to be my main title bolder and bigger and the secondary title will be my channel name tech goku so now let me change the font size it's all looking same now so i'm going to select the main title lower thirds and i'm going to change the font size so select it and under the FX control, expand that uh, text properties and uh, I'm going to change the font size to 150. Okay, now it's uh, pretty bigger and bolder. Now I have to select the secondary title Tech Goku. And, and as I have mentioned, this is the secondary title, so it's going to be a bit smaller than the above one. So I'm going to reduce the font size to 75. And also I have to change the font style to ultra, from ultra to medium, so that it will look smaller. Okay, fine. Now I have to place, now I have to place it in the middle okay so that we can see it clearly now it's really good now what we need is we're going to create a background for this uh, titles so which is going to look good in the end result so for that uh, we have to click on the graphics and create a rectangle layer for this go to graphics in the top menu click on that and new layer under that select rectangle so this will create a rectangle background basically you have to cover the entire text by using this uh, rectangle layer so let me cover the entire text like this okay but now it's uh, kind of hidden we to make it visible go to fx control and bring down the shape effect below the text like this okay now the text is visible and it's uh, looking good okay so now what we're gonna do is uh, we can actually start the animation for this so um, if you want to change the color of the background go to the shape properties click on the fill color and change whatever you like so if you want some kind of a dark color you can go for black or anything like this so i'm gonna select a kind of a black and apply okay it's looking good but actually i like kind of orange so uh, in for this particular tutorial i'm going to select uh, orange and uh, choose kind of uh, uh, light orange like this click ok yeah so it's looking good now so you can choose whatever color you like okay so now we can start the animation uh, as of now it's in the center of the frame and uh, we have to use the position to create a keyframe and also we can scale it a little bit we can reduce the scale size so that it will not look like a title basically we are creating a lower third so for that uh, uh, we can use the safe margin so click on the plus icon you can bring down the safe margin here so by using this you can place it exactly where the lower third should be so I'm going to use the position attribute to place it right on here like this. Okay, cool. Okay, now we can start the animation at the beginning of the clip. This should be hidden in the left hand side here. Okay, so that it will appear from left to right. So for that, I'm going to create a keyframe in position here. So let's create a keyframe and uh, reduce the value to make it hidden like this. Cool. So take few frames right side and uh, I'm going to make it appear from left to right. Sorry, uh, let me do it again. 
okay so let me change the value again so that it will be in the right lower third place like this okay perfect so if you play it it will appear from left to right when the final animation happens cool okay so um so this will be there for a few seconds but what i need to do is at the end of this clip i want to make it disappear again so for that what we're gonna do is we're gonna mask this and uh, we're gonna disappear from left to right but from the frame itself okay so as i have mentioned earlier we can do it in a different way now we're gonna use the uh, mask properties to make it disappear from the frame under the effects control go down and uh, under opacity select the rectangle mask and by using this mask we are going to cover this entire lower third now so basically we are going to mask it like this so let me drag the point so that the whole text will be covered like this okay okay it's fine it's been covered now so now i'm going to create a keyframe uh, for the mask path property here and i'm going to take few frames to the right side and uh, i'm going to make it disappear from left to right like this okay so yeah that's done now let me play it from the beginning so that we will see the final result how it will be okay so this is the beginning of the clip it's appearing from left to right and um, at the end of this clip it will get disappear from left to right but on the frame itself like that cool isn't it so let me play this again for you So at the end of the clip, it will get disappear from like this. So that's how you can create a custom lower third in Premiere Pro easily. So I hope so you find this video helpful. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you have any question about the settings and how to do it, please comment down below. And most importantly, please subscribe to my channel, Tech Goku. Please be safe. Thank you.